Hey there fam, welcome to another of my top 5 videos. Today I'm going to be sharing 5 Pokemon facts that most people do not know about. Well, I shouldn't say that. There are some fans out there that make me wonder, do they really know everything? But anyways, let's get started with the list. Did you know that the gym leader from Hoenn, Brawly, could in fact be native to Kanto instead? There is suggestive text evidence found in different games. For example, in Ruby and Sapphire, there is a black belt trainer in Route 127 that says that Brawly used to train with Bruno in Kanto. Even in Fire Red and Leaf Green, you can find another black belt trainer in Seville Canyon that says Bruno used to train with an old friend there. But the most direct evidence can be found in the latest games, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, in which a TV show states that Broly moved from Kanto to surf year-round in Hoenn. There is a young girl that lives in Sutopolis who gives you two berries every day. When you let her know your name, she says, Okay, that is nice. My name is Kiri. My mommy and daddy named me that so that I will grow healthy and warm-hearted. That is what they wished. You can have one of these. Nothing unusual here, but did you know that this character was actually named after Yunichi Masuda's own daughter, Kiri, who was born just before the Japanese release of Ruby and Sapphire? Did you know that the leader Giovanni created a second, more powerful Mewtwo, known as Mecha Mewtwo? This is not canon and can only be found in the musical Pokemon Live. It is said that this Pokemon is able to learn any move and multiply its power. What is interesting about this unusual character is the fact that although it never made an official release in any of the games, show, or TCG, there was a promotional card created and it was handed out to the people that attended the musical. Perhaps one of the rarest cards because I couldn't even find one for sale. Did you know that it's possible for Ralts to faint during Wally's tutorial on how to catch Pokemon? Now, all the stars need to line up, but it is possible. For this to happen, 1. Sixagoon must be generated with an attack of 11. Ralts is generated with a nature that lowers its defense. Ralts is generated with an IV of 3 in HP and 5 or less in its defense. With all of this, Sixagoon can hit for 10 damage on the first tackle, and 7 after the growl. For a total of 17 damage, that would knock out Ralts. The game keeps going as if it was captured. The chance for this to happen is almost the same as when you encounter a shiny. 1 in 8,574. Now, the last one you can call me Captain Obvious, but I just didn't see it until recently. So, if you're anything like me, you're going to be like, how come I didn't see that? Chantel is one of the Elite Four trainers in Unova who specializes in ghost-type Pokemon. Nothing really unusual, but in an interview with Yusuke Omura in Nintendo Dream, he stated that Chantel's design is based on black cats. And that's when it hit me! See? There's the ears, the nose, the face, and even the way she's holding up her hand. Wow. And it really goes great along with her ghost typing. So there you have it fam, these are 5 Pokemon facts that you might have not known about. So if you enjoyed this and one more, let me know in the comments below. I wonder how many you knew. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and until next time Pokemon fans. Ooh.